Hello and welcome to Kew Gardens. Kew Gardens is a unique place in that we have over 260 years of history, world-class science and breathtaking natural beauty all within the gardens. We were founded in 1759 and since then we've become a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the gardens contain one of the largest and most diverse collections of living plants in the world. Our main attractions, we have the Temperate House, that is the largest surviving Victorian glass house in the world and it was recently restored in 2018 to its former glory. We often refer to it or liken it to a cathedral of glass just because of the, the scale and magnificence of the structure itself but also inside it contains around 1500 species of plants and a lot of those are endangered or threatened in the wild. So it's also important from a conservation perspective. And as you tour the glass house, you can also uh, read up about what our scientists are doing to help protect those. We also have the Palm House, which is one of our more iconic glass houses, which you will probably recognize from, from various images of Kew. And that contains obviously our tropical collection of plants, many of which are important from, again, from a conservation or medicinal perspective. And really walking in there transports you to the heart of the rainforest, so it's a really incredible experience to have this close to central London. We also have some of the more natural beauty, the Great Broadwalk Borders, which is the longest double herbaceous border in the world, which looks absolutely stunning from spring all the way through to autumn and is full of beautiful scents and colours um, from all the planting there. We also have the Hive, which came to us in 2016. It's a really beautiful structure which takes the beehive as its inspiration and it's there to highlight the plight of the honeybee, how important it is to the future of the planet. Surrounded by a beautiful wildflower meadow which is the typical environment where you would find thriving populations of honeybees and it reacts to the motion of the bees within a hive contained at Kew. So the more active they are, the more it will vibrate and hum and kind of come to life. So it's a, it's a lovely immersive experience. We also have the Great Pagoda within the gardens, which was designed by Sir William Chambers and completed in 1762. And that's located next to our beautiful Japanese garden. So it really is a very interesting place to visit. As you can see here, we also have the Q Explorer, which does a circuit of the gardens in, in about 45 minutes. And we'll take in all of the highlights with guided commentary. So you can discover a bit more of the gardens at leisure. There's something here for everyone. We have a whole series of events taking place within the gardens throughout the year, and we're open every day apart from the 24th and 25th of December. Uh, if you'd like to find out more, please do visit us at www.q.org, and we look forward to seeing you in the gardens.